money. Don't be trifling with me. You made a decision. You're gonna fix this Dwayne problem of ours, yeah? Hey, it ain't our problem, playboy. It's yours. That said, I know what I'm going to do. That right. You cold, Nico. Peace and love. Whitey's back. Yo, what you doing? You got rid of Dwayne already? I thought the old dog would have put up more of a fight. <laughs> I didn't kill Dwayne. Well, what you doing back here then? Step to it, motherfucker. Well, I was thinking that maybe Dwayne is not the problem. Maybe it's you. Motherfucker! You think you can touch this shit? You think I got here by letting little bitches like you fuck with me? I own you! Nobody owns me! No country, eh? Don't try to be a wise guy. Really? you was money. You a low-rate bitch. You shouldn't have asked me to kill Dwayne, playboy. Another motherfucker gone and let the money go to his head. Not such a big man now, are you? Ice this punk! You're going to die! Get away from me! What? It's just a gun. Dwayne, I dealt with Playboy. You should know that he asked me to end you first. He was going to pay me a lot of money to do it. Shit, man. He was a good kid back in the day. Always hungry, though. Always wanted more. Maybe I should have seen it then. Kept a closer eye on him. You can't predict what people will become. You're right. I can't give you no money for helping me, son. But I got the deed to Playboy's fancy silk sheet loft. You can have it. Hey, man, I seen where you're living. You should take it. Nah. You'll make me remember the kid too much. Maybe you'll stop by my place sometime, though. Hang out with me. I don't have many friends left, you know. I'll give you a call sometime soon, Dwayne. Play the... Right now! Perfect plan. Yeah. Sorry, not real. You ain't oh, you know you I think you got because that collateral damage. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment and he wants to speak to the feds. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! 
<laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy, so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk. On account of you being brain dead and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look, you gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. The guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cunt dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You call. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now, the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. Yo, you blind? You gotta use those pal.
I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent. I'm in, Nico. Hi. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One, you don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. And maybe I won't. Now get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go! Run amok, okay? It's very confusing. I'm looking at a woman, I'm talking to a woman, I see the woman's penis, now I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. The government is, is turning into a confused transgender prostitute. I mean, it really is. You know, they, they don't know who to serve. You, you feel terrible?
I found this place. There are a bunch of guys hanging around. Well, he must be in there, Nico. Dispose of them all. We're doing a favor for our comrades in the East. You better start doing me some favors soon. your purpose? Yes. Then you are that much closer to finding the man you are after. That strange feeling deep inside? That's the feeling of satisfaction after you did something good. Congratulations. Goodbye. Calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people, doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True. But the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go. But I need to know his movements first. How? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lansing and give me a call. Go! Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me? Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. Greg and Tony Ernio show fire. Read all about it. And the court notices that you have a hyphenated last name. Williams hyphen Joe. Oh, is that correct? 
that name? Yes, it was, Your Honor. I was born Chuck Williams. I went along with it because that's only fair, you know? I mean, Billy there, I you're about to see a chopper taking off from the nation's block. You need to get hold of it. Follow him. Wait until it touches down. Then, when the passengers are out, get in and fly to the airport in Dukes. Okay, then. Judge Grady's back in his chambers making his decision. Let's talk to a few people in the courtroom audience. Madam, what do you think? Who's on the right here? I can really empathize with Laura. What is this can guy doing here? Oh. Fuck! Learn to shoot straight, asshole! Okay then, let's fly this thing! Hamster Harem, the musical that will have you wincing with tears and big hits! I am having to get up to 
or whatever her name really is. I don't get it. She shit government agents or an undercover cop. What is she? Shit, I don't know. All I know is that her friends have got me by the balls. Someone's got me by the balls too, cousin. I'll send you a pig. 